hi guys welcome back i hope all is well i hope everyone's having a great day i am super excited to finally share these with you guys i'm gonna open them we're gonna take a look at them and then i will leave you and i will sharpen them and we will swatch them i think we probably swatch them all or i'll get started on swatching and then we'll just finish off together and do some eraser tests and some blending tests and you know all that good stuff this is the color macaroon set um i got these on if i can open it there we go on aliexpress they are not available on amazon just yet quite sure soon they will be available on amazon And this is the colors. Well, the names, the colors and names and the numbers. It's only 50. And let's take a look at these babies. They feel nice. It's a thin, thin pencil in my hand. So I'm gonna have to use a, a pencil grip. They have a name and a number, and I guess that's supposed to be their light fast ratings, but whatever. It is a budget friendly pencil. I don't think of it as being too light fast friendly and, you know, just great light fastness because, I mean, it's a budget pencil. But already I can see dents in this pencil. I'm seeing some, uh, ink marks on them and yeah but so far some pretty colors i love the pink container and this is supposed to be all the colors loving the pink container okay let's see can we get it out of the pink container nice colors we have to put them in order of course because they're not in order but let's take a look. They remind me so much of the Brute Finder Macaroon. So much. Let me grab one because they're handy. The Brute Finder Macaroon is definitely, this is the Brute Finder Macaroon. It is definitely a heavier pencil, but they look just alike. somewhat they feel they feel the same but this pencil this is heavier I don't know maybe they're the same I don't know they feel like the same pencil they kind of look like the same pencil but we'll see. We are going to swatch them. I'm gonna put these in order and I'm gonna sharpen them and then we're gonna swatch them. And we're gonna do some tests with these. And But I think this is just a, a brute fire, honestly. I think it's just a brute fire, but uh, yeah. It's another set of pastel pencils. You know, it's my thing. It's my jam. But I'm going to go ahead and get these sharpened and put in green, magenta, shell pink. This is not in order. So can't use that. <coughs> But I'll put them in some kind of an order and we will get back. And we're going to check these babies out. See what the Kalur Macaroon have to offer us. I will be back. Okay, guys, I am back. I have them sharpened in somewhat of an order. So we are going to swatch these babies. Loving the pink tin. Like, just loving the pink tin. But I hope we like the pencils. 
and not being a negative Nancy, but I'm just not expecting much, but I know a lot of people love Color pencils. Let's see what color this is. Cream, number two. Let's get some light. There we go. This is cream. Oh, it is very soft. It's a soft pencil, very soft. The pigment, you get your pigment saturation right away. What color is the next? Number three, Naples Yellow. I'm loving how soft they are. Should get a pretty easy blend with these being so soft. Number 10, Shell Pink. Uh, here we go. Number five. Let's bring it down a smidge. You can see. Number 12, Cherry Blossom. So I hope everyone is having a great day. I ordered these pencils about two weeks ago and they just came today. So I got right on it. It always takes me so long to get LA Express orders. Number 11. But hey, it was a macaroon color set of pencils and you know I had to have it. Pumpkin orange, number 15. They are nice and creamy. They are nice. I think they are a little bit softer than the Brute Funners. I don't know. I'm going to have to put them against each other. Because these are really soft. I'm liking them. Apricot number 14. I'm just gonna swatch a few more with you and then I'll come back and everything will be swatched and we can get to some blending tests and erase tests and honey, you know we have to put water to it to see if they're gonna run. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a few more and then I will be back. Number one. I like number one, I like that ivory. All right, let's do one more and then I will be back. We're gonna do number seven, which is soft beige. And I will, uh, I was proud of myself. I thought I was gonna make it through the whole video without popping all my tips off. But that is a soft pencil. All right, I'm gonna swatch the rest of these and I will return. Okay guys, I have swatched them all. They are pretty colors. I'm liking the colors. Let me 
nice colors. I think we could have had a few more purples in the mix. Uh, definitely, we have a, a nice amount of pinks and blues and greens, uh, but purples, we are missing the purples, definitely. Loving sea fog and smoky blue, loving those. And mustard like that. A lot of colors on here that I like. <clears throat> but they are swatched. Now, we are going to, they are hard to open. We're gonna see how these babies react to water. We're gonna see how they erase. Yeah, we're gonna see all the fun stuff. Gonna check out all the fun stuff. Let's see, let's get a pink. And we're just gonna use the pink and put some uh, pigment down. And yes, I'm nasally, I'm still under the weather. So I may also sound winded. We're just putting some pigment down to see how they erase. Here we go. This is uh, actually a Derwent eraser. It's just in this uh, thing, whatever you want to call it. It erased really good. Okay, let's do one. Let's try this one right through the middle. And that's just two passes over it. So they erase very well. No problem with erasing these pencils. No problem at all. So that's not a problem. Let's see. Let's try the green, this dark green. And I wanna see how the pencil react to water. Let's see what it's gonna do with the water. We're gonna do green. We're gonna do some different colors because different colors react different with the water. Okay, let's try, let's do a pink. Definitely want to try the pink with when it comes to the water. All right, here we go. I have an aqua brush. I have my towel. And let's see, check out this water situation. Okay, not really moving with the water much. Okay, let's try another color. Okay, nope, not moving with the water. And I have water sitting on top of it and it did not move with the water. Let's try the pink, that's the real test. Let's try that, if it's gonna move with the water. Nope, they do not move with water, which is a plus. Okay, so they do not move at water. They erase well. Let's see how they blend. Let's turn the paper around, make sure it's dry, and I'm gonna get a few colors and we're gonna see how they blend. And what colors? It was some greens I wanted to see them blend with the greens. Hair green. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to find them because I don't have them in order. I wanted to do those greens though. Like I 
or we could do this mustard. Several of them. We gonna try. Let's go ahead and go with pear green, olive green, and daylily. Pear green, olive green, and daylily. This is daylily. This is pear green. Where is olive? Was it olive? Olive yellow. All right, they are really close to each other, but I'm going to use these anyway. And yes, my nails are busted. I can't go get them done because I'm under the weather. All right. Let's see. Let's just see how they blend out together. Probably should have colored a leaf. You know me, I go pick the smallest damn leaf. So what color is that? Pear green. We'll go in with our olive green. And then our day lily, we'll come back over it. Let me bring you down some so you can see. I feel like it's not a of light. I don't know. I'm using a fairly light hand to get all this blended together. All right, now we're gonna go in with the Daylily, which is the lightest color. And try to blend them all together. Lots of wax. Lots and lots of wax. And I, I'm seeing with another one, I saw another color trying to come through. I don't remember. It was a green. I think it was this pear green. It was another color like it was mixed in with it. Because when I was swatching, I saw the dark, like a really, really dark color trying to come out. But I think it was that pear green. It blends fairly easy. No problems with that. And just the way they color, I could tell that they were going to blend really, you know, really easy. Let's try some other colors. Let's try. Uh, la, 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 la. What colors? I wanted to try these creams and browns. That's light. Okay, we're gonna try these. I'm gonna start off with this dark color first. With the darkest color. And I'm loving this color. Loving it, it's mustard. Loving this color. All right, let's go with the next color. It is sand. And our next color, which is our lightest color, is ivory. And let's see what we get. See if we can get a nice blend with those. Hmm. 
Not bad, but didn't get the blend I really wanted. But not bad. <clears throat> they are easy when it comes to blending. They work. Um, so no problems with the blending. Um, no problems with erasing them. They erase very well, very easy. They do not run with water. I put water on all three of those. Lots of water. They did not run with water. Um, it's a soft pencil. It's definitely a soft pencil. Definitely soft. Um, I did pop off, pop off a few tips, of course, but I'm notorious for that. I like them. I like them. Um, how they stack up to other uh, macaroon color pencils, I don't know yet. Um, I need to use these. But let's just say they remind me of another pencil. Um, maybe not as good as another pencil. But we'll get to that on another day. But they are nice. They are nice pencils. I paid 23 bucks. Um, AliExpress for these. Make sure you look around if you go to purchase these. Make sure you search for um, Kahlua Macaroon Pencils. Because at first I had um, a set of these in my cart. They were $28. Then I went back and was still looking because I thought maybe I wanted to buy another set of pencils. These were $23. So look around before at AliExpress before you buy. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you want to purchase these pencils, I will have the link to AliExpress. It's not an affiliate link. Hopefully Amazon will have these soon. But AliExpress only took me about two weeks, so no complaints. No complaints on these pencils, really. None, really. Just to be honest, no complaints. I like them. Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.